This video is sponsored by Hotspot Shield, a VPN to protect your privacy, data, and freedom to browse censored websites. Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geek Noise, and welcome to my continued coverage of the late 2013 Apple Mac Pro. You can see it sitting on my desk here, looking very, very sexy and classy indeed. Now, this is the 3.5 gigahertz, six core Intel Xeon E5 processor. It's also got 16 gigabytes of 1867 megahertz DDR3 RAM, and I also had it upgraded to 512 gigabytes of internal flash storage. Now, this is not gonna be anything too scientific, but I've got the latest version of Adobe Photoshop CC, and I just wanted to show you how it performs with regards to opening up some images and also to performing some filters as well. So first of all, let's open up the images. So I have got 15 images here, and they're all roughly between sort of six and seven megabytes each. So 15 images, all six to seven megabytes each. And I'm gonna just hover over the open button there and try and click start on my stopwatch at the same time. So we're gonna go start, get ready with the stop. There we go. So that took, if I can show you this, 7.21 seconds. That is very, very fast indeed. So just over seven seconds to open 15 images. Now I'm gonna close all of those down and I'm just gonna open up that very last image again. One of my favorite images of that particular set. And this time I'm going to actually apply a filter. Now I've already applied the extrude filter before on a previous image. So I can just hit my command key and F to apply that filter again. I'm gonna try and time it, but I'm pretty sure it might be very, very quick. So we go three, two, one and hit F and then we're gonna hit stop now. So there we go. So to, to actually apply that filter to what, when it's opened, it's a 45.6 megabyte image. It took 4.58 seconds, 4.58 seconds. That is extremely good indeed. Let me reset that. So now I just want to try a tile filter. Let's try tiles. We set it to 99 tiles there and let's click OK. And there's not even any point in starting the stopwatch. It's almost doing it in real time. So we just tap Command and F again, and it's done it again, and again, and again. And let's just try that previous filter one more time, which was extrude. And we've got 30 pixels set, 30 depth, and let's try OK. This one seems to be a little bit more taxing, but there you can see literally sort of four seconds to actually render that extrude filter. So this was just a very simple test. I just really wanted to show you how this works and sort of the performance. It's really down to the absolutely fantastic engineering that Apple have actually built into this. Let's open those images again. It's just so, so fast. I cannot believe the performance of this six core late 2013 Apple Mac Pro. Now obviously people that are a lot more experienced using Adobe Photoshop CC than myself will probably tax it a little bit more, but this is a just a blinding performance and I'm sure any graphic artist would really appreciate how streamlined their workflow can be. So thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button, please do subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see another video of mine, please do click the annotation on the top of your screen now. And also, you can click the annotation on the bottom of your screen and subscribe to the Geek Annoyed channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time.